tried seducing one of my teachers for an A. I got expelled. You know, sometimes the Lulu isn't always the Salulu. Okay, hey dweebs. Welcome back to the YouTube chat jam. I start school September 6th, which is kind of close. I'm trying not to think about it, but I start school pretty soon. And I thought, what better way to prepare ourselves than by reading some juicy school confessions. I don't really know if they're going to be juicy or traumatic or you know, wildly uncomfortable. I, I don't know because it's school. Anyways, I asked you guys to send me some of your most memorable school memories. Side note, y'all are so lucky that these confessions are anonymous because the day I find out who is leaving me the same song lyrics whenever I ask for these Google forums, you're done. No, you're, you're actually gonna be done. Anyways, the tears are, I wish I went to your school. The next one is taking the week off, followed by dropping out. Then we have therapy, and then the last one is 911, I'd like to report a crime. Because I feel like some of these are gonna get illegal. Also, can I just say, guys, whenever I do these confessions videos, I add a little image before the confession so that it gives you guys a hint of what the confession is about. Why did I check the comment on the last confession video? Somebody said they thought it was me just trying to be creative and me just drawing for fun. Are the drawings that bad? Like. These are supposed to be drawing. These are supposed to be intuitive and you're supposed to think and you're supposed to be like, wow, what's this supposed to be about? But if they're bad, just let me know. Um, at my old school, teachers used to walk around barefoot and all. They had nasty toes and warts. It was the worst on the principal. I'm surprised you said principal. When I think of a teacher walking around barefoot, I think of that teacher somehow being involved in the arts, in theater, in, in, in drama. It's just, it's giving drama teacher. Was it the theme of the school? Like, was that part of the uniform? The dogs had to be out? Honestly, I'd have to drop out after this. There's a reason why you said it's your old school girl. Cause I, I wouldn't be able to stay here with them warts and toes out. Why am I staying in a school with grown teachers walking around with them toes out? I don't want to see your toes. <laughs> YouTube, I'm Cam, and basically when I was in eighth grade, I had an upset stomach, so I went to use the bathroom, and I was on the toilet using the bathroom. I mean toe gripping, stomach bubbling, <laughs> toilet gripping. Yes, it was that bad. I've been there before. I looked up mid poop and saw someone recording me flash and everything. I'm in 10th grade now, but I can't use any public restrooms because I'm scared someone will record me. Be my therapist, please. Okay, I'm just I'm just a little confused. How did how, what are the angles here? How does this work? You're in the bathroom, okay? You you had craft dinner the night before. You look up and you just see a random person snapping a photo of you. This is definitely traumatizing and also slightly illegal and therapy would be necessary after that I feel like I would definitely need I would need to talk to somebody about this And that is why I want to take the time right now to thank today's sponsor Better help whether you have a clinical medical condition like depression or anxiety or if you're just human Just trying to navigate this world therapy can give you the tools to approach life in a completely different way I know from personal experience that finding a therapist can be really hard Especially when you're like limited to the ones in your area Which is exactly why it's better helps mission to make therapy accessible and affordable better help is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier Because it's completely online and by filling out a few questions better help can match you with a professional therapist from their network in as little as a few days. To get started, you can click the link in the description box below. It's BetterHelp slash Debs Michael. And also by doing this, you can get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. And finding a therapist is kind of like dating. So if it turns out that you don't really fit with your therapist, you can easily switch to a new one without worrying about any additional costs. Once you find a therapist that is the perfect fit for you, you can talk to them in whatever forum that you feel most comfortable with. Text, chat, phone, video call, literally whatever your preference is. So if you guys are looking to take care of your mental health, you can try out BetterHelp today and use the link betterhelp slash debsmichael. I'll also leave it in the description box below. And also thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Did I rank that one? I don't think I ranked it, but I think it kind of ranked itself. This one is therapy, but also like 911. I'd like to report a crime. That cannot be legal. Why are you hanging over toilet stalls, taking photos of people taking a dump? If you're watching this video and this is your confession, please message me and, and give me an update. Have we been able to use the public bathrooms? Did you figure out who took the photo of you? I need, I need an update, please. Please tell me you're okay. <laughs> But 
girl i still call you grandma <laughs> okay so when i was in college i had this english teacher that i thought was so cute it's always the english teacher y'all he was tall had a Wait, why are you describing like a scene from a what pad? You think I'm gonna fall for this? Which one of y'all type this up? I feel like I have to change the tone of this entire confession, ready? Okay, so when I was in college, I had this English teacher. He was tall, had a sultry voice, and really cared about what he was teaching. Girl, that's a grown man. I found out the next semester that he had invited some students to his office, was being really flirty, asking her out for drinks, etc., and got Fired. I was shook, but also like Loki wanted it to be me. <sighs> no, he needs to be in jail, girl. I don't tell you. I don't know what you want me to say, but that man needs to be in jail. It's always the English teachers, and I, I'm speaking from a place of experience. I folded before, <laughs> multiple times actually, and it's it just doesn't. It's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. It's it's not fun, please. If it's one thing that y'all can take from this video as you're entering this new school year of 2023, 2024, stop folding for teachers. Honestly, because you described this like tall, sultry voice and the way he cared about other people, if I was ovulating, I would definitely wish I went to your school. But he got fired and he's out here flirting with his students. So 911, I'd like to report a crime. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, this confession right here. <laughs> wild or anything but I used to steal stuff from my classmates and then <laughs> help them search for it as if I don't know where it is in my pocket slash bag just started college by the way kind of disappointed in myself for just standing in the corner while the others are already getting into friend groups okay there's two things we need to unpack here I'm gonna start with that theft behavior at the beginning please I feel like I'm only reacting this strongly because my sister will literally do this she does this to me when I tell y'all it pisses me off y'all my sister will steal stuff she will end up into my room take things from my drawer from my desk from my bag and when you steal things from me you have like a good 24 48 hour window before I notice because for me it's like if you take it and give it back and I don't see it happen I'm like girl I didn't see it happen it never happened but that girl will come into my room steal my stuff harbor it over there in her holding cell okay and, and then she waits until i'm frantically looking ever for it i mean like tearing apart my room i'm looking outside i'm looking in the kitchen i'm looking in the bathroom cabinet i'm looking in crevices that i've never even looked in before looking for the things she stole and get this every single time that i asked her for help to look for it it always turns up it's like the minute i ask for her help suddenly oh she found it oh Debs, it was under here you didn't check between your bookshelf girl it was right here the whole time there was one time I literally lost like the tip of the apple pencil. I don't know if I can find it, but okay, look at this. Y'all see this apple pencil? This little tip, it screws off, right? Y'all y'all see that right here? And y'all see this? This is useless without the tip. Um <laughs> I'm fighting the urge to say something so inappropriate right now. Anyways, this is useless if you don't have this uh, attaching piece to the top, okay? It, it helps it right. So one time, I was looking for both parts. I was only able to find this, and she was the last person to use it. I'm lifting things up, I'm throwing things to the side. I can't find it. I look in the corner of my eye. I saw her take this tiny piece that I've been looking for for literally the last, like, two weeks. I see her place it, like, underneath the bed, and then she looks around, she's like, <gasps> I found it! Count your days, Rebecca. I'm sorry about the story time. I hate interjecting and then just going on like a side tangent, but y'all, people who teeth your things and then like plant the evidence back in your possession as if you never lost it, when I tell you, it drives me insane. But the second part where you said you just started college and you're disappointed for standing instead of getting into friend groups, I actually really get this feeling. Sometimes it's good to wait for the right time and for the right friends to come around because I find that when you rush into those friend groups, especially at the beginning of school, like it's September, it's frosh week, everybody has all these events and you're meeting like a bunch of people and you're getting so excited about like just new interactions. It's really easy to just like romanticize like a new friend group, but sometimes those friend groups that you fall into too quickly, they fall apart just as fast. So take your time, it's okay, and you're gonna find the right friends at the right time, as long as you don't steal their Apple pencils and plant the evidence back in the room. I'm gonna say I wish I went to your school only because I would love for you to try that that theft behavior on me and we'll see how that ends and then also we could be in the same friend group so it's, it's a win-win right <laughs>
gate boss, but it's your canon event, girl. Have you really had that all around school institution experience if you haven't been rejected by your crush in the most humiliating way? I feel like it happens to the best of us. It happened to me. I still would definitely need to take the week off. Um, just because I, I have an idea of how that went down in my head. I feel like that would definitely leave me leave me absent from school for a couple days. Hey, can I can I talk to you for a second? I've just been thinking a lot about um, you and and us and I just thought I'd finally tell you that I've I have really strong feelings for you. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I take the week off. I'm taking the week off. Please don't bother doing attendance for me for, for, from Monday to Friday for the next week because I won't be here. I'll be absent. I'll be at home. If it makes you feel any better, my crushes in middle school would like literally run away from me. Like I would tell them that I was like head over heels in love with them and their reaction and their response to me was just physically running away from me and like distancing themselves from me. But I didn't really understand that and I, I'm not like super socially aware sometimes. Honestly, I think that's when the idea of rejection became like a big game to me because I never really understood that I was being rejected. Like I would full on confess my feelings and be vulnerable and put my heart out there on the line and they would just like literally hop on two feet and run away. And I'm like, oh, he's running. He must want me to chase after him. actually crazy so I went to school in England Ooh. listen 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 whenever I get a confession and y'all tell me y'all live in the UK or you're in England or you're in Ireland I've never got an Irish one but I'm dying to do an Irish accent I feel like I can do it if anybody who subscribed to me is an Irish lassie please leave a confession so I can read it so I have an excuse to read it in an Irish accent I feel like I'm getting better okay I practice I've been practicing okay this is gonna be extremely painful but I'm sorry I have to do the accent I have to I have to Put you guys in the mood of this confession. So I went to school in England. I was in year eight or nine, and we had this French teacher who I'll call Mr. J. I think I'm actually just gonna drop the accent. No, it's it's really bad. One time, this girl in my class asked to go to the bathroom. Mr. J said no. She said she was on her period, and he said she needed a medical note from her doctor to confirm she was on her period. When has that ever been a thing? I'm sorry, I know we're not done the confession, but you lost me. Why would I need a note from a doctor? <laughs> I can't even take this seriously. What would a doctor write on that? Patient is definitely ovulating. An egg has definitely been traveling from those fallopian tubes. He would also talk about how his wife used all his money and that she loved her dog more than him. But the crazy situation was when he got really angry at us. He started yelling at this kid who was talking in class. He was like the smallest in our year, by the way. So just picture this big French teacher versus a tiny 13 year old. And Mr. J threw a glue stick with full force in my direction. I guess his aim was bad because I did nothing wrong for him. So the boy starts crying and running down the stairs and Mr. J runs after him and is screaming at him. Anyways, he got fired. What? What was that? I almost don't believe you because I'm like, how is this real? But also the fact that he got fired, that's all you had to tell me. I'm just happy y'all got rid of Mr. J because Mr. J sounds like he needs to be in Mr. Jail. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna 911 report a crime with this one. Why are we throwing objects at children? Why are we demanding doctor's notes? for a natural bodily function. I'm happy you got fired. And also please check in on that 13 year old boy because I know that changed the trajectory of his life. <laughs> my crush's portals if I knew their birthday and ID. Um, first of all, what do you do once you're inside the portal? Are you gonna hand something on turn it in for him? Write a quiz under his account? Like, I feel like I need to know what you did with this. It's great that you're using these lovely skills to log into your crush's portal, but let's put this FBI energy into something else. If you were to hack like his banking information or his like private emails, it's bad, okay? I'm not suggesting it, but I'm just saying like, if you were to hack into those, I'd understand why. But you're hacking into a school portal. What are you doing in a portal? Are you gonna schedule a, a Google Meet? I can't judge too heavy though because I am like the nosiest person on this planet and I know if I had access to like my crush's portal I wouldn't even do anything with it. I'd just log in to log in I'm gonna put this in I wish I went to your school only because I want to know what you did once you were in the portal Like what exactly are you infiltrating once you're in there? <laughs> Girl, ooh, we 
y'all saw his confessions off yelling at me through my screen. I know this is gonna be juicy. So basically one time I was having like explosive diarrhea during lunch because like I'm lactose intolerant. Hey twin, how you doing? But I like to chow down on that cafeteria pizza. So while I was emptying my guts in the toilet, I hear like gurgling in the stall next to me. And I'm like, um, but I don't care because I have my own problems. And I kid you not, this random girl in the next stall grabs my ankle. And I'm like holding in laughter. Instead, I just farted like really wet because she made me laugh and she let go. <laughs> You're in the bathroom, <laughs> minding your own business. Next to you in the stall, you hear gurgling. Which already, girl, what are you gurgling on? What, what, what even is a gurgling sound? Whatever, you're in the bathroom, you're hearing very questionable and abnormal sounds. One moment, you're just pushing it out. And in the next moment, you feel someone just... <laughs> grab your ankle? What does that look like? Oh my gosh, what? I don't even know what to say. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I would take the week off. Obviously, if this happened to me, I'd be traumatized and I'd be very uncomfortable, but also, the girl next to me didn't see my identity and I didn't see hers. To me, it's like, okay, you didn't get any evidence, you didn't take any photos of me on Flash. You just gave me a quick little ankle grab and you you made a beeline for the exit. I'd take the week off and by next week, I would try my best to not think about it. <laughs> Seducing one of my teachers for an A. I got expelled. Can I get to the <laughs> you better yes. You know, sometimes the Lulu isn't always the Salulu. I get it, okay girl, I get it. The teacher, student, when you grow up reading these fictional scenarios, it does something to you, okay, I get it. I spent a lot of my tween teenage years watching Pretty Little Liars. And what I tell you, the dynamic between Arya and Ezra, I literally thought that when I go to high school, I'm gonna have that like Arya Ezra dynamic and I'm gonna find my Ezra. It literally changes your brain chemistry. Like, it's so DNA altering, so I get it. But girl, you are not Arya. This isn't a fan fiction. Also, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm just picturing the situation going down. It's like giving me the ick. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Johnson. Uh, I know I'm failing your class, but I'm willing to do something more for some extra credit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, there's actually no need for extra credit because you're expelled. You can take your things and go to the principal's office. Thank you. Let me hear say, uh oh. oh. Me personally, this would put me in therapy. I, it would take so much for me to get over this. And even admitting this out loud, like in a Google form, which I know isn't super out loud, it would take a lot for me to be honest like this. Though I know that teacher wants you in jail. So I feel like if he was doing these rankings, he would definitely be 911 reporting a crime. But me personally, I'd have to go in therapy if I had to experience something like this. <laughs> doesn't watch you because he's gonna know it's me okay so I have this crush I've had a crush on him for like a half a year or so when this happened he's a bit of like the bully type okay he's not really a bully but he's like mean and is kind of a narcissist to be I finally had the courage to confess to him and you know what he said come with me like just straight up no explanation given okay wait why would that kind of like i wouldn't i wouldn't be opposed to it i don't know just imagine like you just like lay out all your feelings on the line you confess and they just look at you like up and down and they go come with me <laughs> Ooh, okay let me not get too out of i went with him and one thing led to another i'm on the bathroom floor kneeling in front of him now it didn't bother me at all i had a crush on him and that was like a best case scenario for me what shocked me was what happened next as i was there you know doing him i suddenly felt something warm in my mouth it just came out no warning no indication no heads up or nothing it was pee i didn't have any time to process what was happening and just instinctively tried to drink it all up since my clothes was bound to be messed up if i didn't mind you that this happened during lunch so i still had classes after this i'm an honor student who's academically competitive so missing even one class is not an option so i was there on my knees literally just trying my best to not spill anything after this this, he just finished and left me there oh my gosh and I came back to class acting like I didn't just get waterfall minutes ago I'm not
not the type to be confrontational, so I just didn't talk to him at all my entire time left at that school. It was like we both just deleted it off our memory. Vincent. Oh, not you name dropping. Vincent, if you're out there, hit me up, because like, that was kind <sighs> What did you just put me through? All of this narcissist, bully, bathroom, knees, pee, urine, drinking, honor student, and then him leaving you there, and then you going back to class, only for you to end it with, hit me up. That was kind of... personally drop out you would probably never see my face again actually no maybe i wouldn't maybe i'd just take the week off if he didn't tell anyone and it was like a little secret then like sure i'll allow it maybe i can change this to taking the week off just because it's like between two people i feel like once other people get involved that's when it's like me leaving the school listen if your name is if your name is vincent and you're watching this and you're listening to the story and you're thinking wow this is oddly familiar Hit that girl up again. She clearly misses the taste of that warm, bitter urine entering her mouth and just swishing across her taste buds. Maybe you guys are endgame. Maybe this is the start of something new. Um, I ship it. <laughs> This is long, I'm so sorry. Girl, it's okay. All right, so I had this math teacher who was fine, and when I say fine, I mean fine. <laughs> he gave dope vibes, but he was single and was like 40 something. Girl, that man is twice her age. He always wore black clothing, just black jeans, and tight black shirts that emphasized his muscles that were slender. <sighs> you guys are so so this man took every opportunity to make my life living hell. When I wasn't raising my hand, he purposely just ignored all the other hands and stared deadpan at me waiting for my answer. So this one time he was talking, my eyes moved to his arms that were veiny and I just stared at them for at least three minutes straight. This man noticed me staring and purposely said, when you're done ogling me, answer the question please. <laughs> my silly self choked on my spit and started coughing violently and he was like laughing quietly to himself. I almost busted. Anyways, love you granny. This has to be fake. This story right here, it's fictional. It's a folk tale. I just can't conceptualize the fact that you had a fine 40 something year old teacher and you stared at his arms and he said stop. <laughs> No, this is fake. This is fake! Because what do you mean a grown 40-something year old man teacher is telling you to stop ogling me? What does he know about ogling? Like, ugh, ew. Don't fold for teachers, guys, okay? I said it at the beginning of the video and I'll say it again. Please, do not fold for teachers. If you want to fold for somebody, fold for me. <laughs> Ew, I don't know why I did that. No, but seriously, y'all, this has to stop. And and I don't want to be the PSA girl, but I'm going to be the PSA girl, okay? Don't fold for teachers. It can lead to things like explosive diarrhea, extreme itchiness, rash, headaches, shortness of breath, fever, hypotension, liver disease, tachycardia, and death. Stop folding for teachers. I don't even know what to think of half of these confessions. And I seriously thought for a minute that my high school was, you know, crazy and, and super, super wild. No. I don't know what schools y'all are enrolled in, but please, just comment down below and let me know that you are safe as you enter this school year. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I hope it made you just as uncomfortable as it made me. <sighs> What's your name? My name is Kill, Kill Smichael. Don't forget it. We're not gonna forget. Love you. Love you more. Have you ever? Uh -huh had feelings, oh. not for another student in class, mm -hmm. but for the person at the front of the class teaching. <laughs> um, the answer is, yeah. <gasps> what was that? What was that? <laughs> it's a yes or no question. Okay, so like, Yes, but it's a caveat oh. to that. So story time. Um, we went and did leadership camp when I was in university, and <sighs> we went away, and obviously I had a great time, and I was just really connecting with everybody, including the teachers. And then when we went back to like our cabin in the day, everybody was just drinking together, and then we were doing lap dances for each other. And one of the teachers was like, um, "Like you can do lap dance with me?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." And it was one of the teachers I thought was really cute, so yeah, I did that. What? <laughs> Yeah. I never knew this. 
yeah, 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 yeah. She, she cool, she cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're so annoying. Oh, we're so annoying. But, but, yeah, but, she cool, she cool. She alright. We're at university, though. Know, people, we have, like, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't like my direct teacher. She was just a, a leader. And then, like a she Yeah, like she helped with student life. I can't give too many details in case she sees this. And you gave her a lap dance? Yes, I did. But we were, we were good friends, and it was fun. Okay, well, let me not judge. Here I am, here <laughs> story. <laughs> about what y'all are doing with teachers and what teachers are doing. Meanwhile, my bloodline, my okay, brother, okay, okay, is out here. I'm just a guy. <laughs> hey, yeah, chill, chill. On okay, your uh, teacher. Uh, let, let's cut that. Um, We're not cutting. <laughs> Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? Absolutely not. <gasps> oh, so no, no, no. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Uh, I'm telling the truth. Yeah, no, never. No. I mean, there's such a figure of education out of um, just sheer love and respect. Respect, I think it's a big thing. Yeah, it's a huge and thing. Like honestly, humility and you just know, having an honor for you a know, teacher. You know, right? so I would that's never... it's so left field for me. Yeah, it's just not my like, taste. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if this is balance, it's, it's it's out of balance. You got it. Please Take him as your role model. Thank you. Somebody Thank who you. doesn't Thank you. give their teachers lap dances. Why would you even get that information from? I don't, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> saying. Remember we... Yeah, we're there. We did it all. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, lay off. Ah, <laughs> y'all are a mess. She was like a guidance counselor. She was like a... It was like a... Never mind. Oh, gosh. Y'all, please do not fold for teachers, okay? Fold for me instead. <laughs> Bags in front. 